Hi guys, it's Dr. Pete here from the Level Up program for high performance teams. And today we're talking with you about leading high performance teams. In this short video, we want to share with you some of the coaching tools and strategies that you can use to refine your leadership skills. Hello, Alastair Kerr here for the High Performance Teams program, and thanks for taking the time out of your busy schedule today to join me for your HPT virtual coaching session, where we'll take some time to slow down, reflect on your leadership, and the strategies that you can use to help your team to level up. Today's video comes in two parts. In part one, we'll be helping you to get ready for the HPT virtual coaching session by getting you to complete the HPT monthly update tool, which is the backbone of all HPT coaching. In part two, we'll be diving straight in and having our HPT virtual coaching session. If you've already completed the HPT monthly update tool, feel free to skip straight ahead to part two. As a leader, maintaining 100% focus and 100% commitment to both supporting and challenging a team to level up can be extremely difficult, given that most leaders themselves are juggling a thousand things. This is where the HPT monthly update tool comes in. It's designed to help leaders pull things into focus and prepare to get the most out of any coaching experience by capturing the full range of their leadership responsibilities in one simple page. You can download your copy of the HPT monthly update tool from our website. In addition to using the monthly update tool as a way to prepare for coaching, we recommend sharing relevant sections of your monthly update tool, both with members of your own team, as well as your boss. This is a great way of sharing the team's successes and challenges and getting everyone on the same page. Let's take a moment now to step through each section of the monthly update tool using a pre-filled example. We're going to start in the top left-hand corner. As you can see, here we record the date, our name, whether our data wall is up to date, and the stretch goals we have in focus. Finally, we also record our one-word barometer. Moving to the right, we see the key relationships in focus. Here, we record the key people that we need to catch up with over the next 30 days, whether we have this scheduled or if it's already been completed. Moving again to the right, we come to our action plan update. Here, we note whether project-based or time-based activities are on or off track. Moving to the center of the page, we come to the work life and well-being section. Here, it's great to stop and reflect what's going well and what can be improved in our own personal and work life. Moving to the bottom of the page, we see the HPT team development check-in. Here, we have a specific focus on both team engagement and team achievement, successes and challenges, both over the past 30 days and the coming 30 days. Here, we simply note what's going on, the impact that it's had on the team, and the forward actions that we'll take because of this. Moving to the bottom right of the page, we come to our HPT leadership section, here, we invest some thinking time in how we're behaving as a leader in relation to managing, mentoring, and coaching, and whether this mix is working for our team or not. Upon reflection, we may realize that we need to downsize or do less of some of these behaviors with particular team members, or we may need to upsize or do more of these particular leadership behaviors with some team members. The final section of the HPT update tool located in the top right hand corner of the form is the hot issues section. Here you can record your personal hot issues. By completing the rest of the update tool first, themes for hot issues should already start to become self-evident. Now that you've completed your HPT monthly update tool, you're ready to jump into the coaching session. Before we begin, make sure that you're in a comfortable position, free from distractions, and as we work through, also feel free to pause the video to allow for reflection time and resume when you're ready. Like most things HPT, coaching happens within a clearly defined structure to make sure that we cover a wide variety of learning and development needs. We begin all HPT coaching sessions by grounding. To do this, take a few moments to reflect on your own personal leadership, mission, and goals. Next, complete your one-word barometer by completing the sentence, Right now, I'm feeling... After grounding, we move into the leadership update. To do this, take a look at your monthly update tool. 
Some great questions to ask yourself include, overall, what's going really well? Overall, what are the major challenges? What are the themes that I'm seeing? And finally, what surprises me? Be sure to take note of any interesting conclusions. Next, we move into hot issues, which provides an opportunity to think about and generate solutions for key issues. When working through hot issues by yourself, we recommend using the framework that you can see on the screen. Firstly, choose one of the hot issues from your monthly update tool and clearly define the problem at hand. Next, list all of the solutions that you can think of. Make sure to note down even the craziest of ideas because these can sometimes lead to novel solutions. In step three, assess each possible solution, weighing up the pros and cons. Then select the one that best suits your situation. Finally, start to make a plan and note this on your monthly update tool. Remember, it's important to keep your monthly update tool safe so that you can look back on it later to review any progress that you may have made. Following hot issues, we turn to leadership development. Pause the coaching video here and head on over to the HPT Level Up YouTube channel. Here you'll find a wide range of videos relevant to your leadership development. Choose one that's appropriate for you and then return back to this video once you finish watching it. Welcome back. As we start to draw this session to a close, note down the key leadership activities that you'll take as a result of your reflections today to help your team to level up. Finally, note down any key reflections that you've taken away as a result of your reflections today. Make sure to book in your next coaching time and complete your checkout barometer by finishing the statement, right now, I'm feeling Thanks again for taking the time out today to slow down and reflect on your leadership and your team's performance. I'm sure that through this process, you've come up with some amazing strategies to help keep your team's momentum going and to help them to level up.